In our next piece, we discuss how researchers at MIT are developing a new device that has the potential to hold as much energy as a conventional battery, but could be recharged in seconds rather than hours, would last almost indefinitely, and won't mind the cold. The device could prove to be the first economically viable alternative to today's battery. It could one day yield a practical all-electric car and provide electricity storage critical to using intermittent energy sources such as solar and wind. This project, with funding provided by the Ford-MIT Alliance, is part of MIT's Laboratory for Electromagnetic and Electronic Systems. The mission of this laboratory is to conduct research and teaching in efficient electric energy production, distribution, utilization, and storage, and in electromechanics, from the macroscopic through the nanoscopic levels. By drawing on nanotechnology, Professor Joel E. Schindel and his colleagues are developing a fast-charging, long-lived ultracapacitor that will be able to provide quick energy and should hold about as much energy as a battery of equivalent dimensions. Well, in the Laboratory for Electromagnetic and Electronic Devices, um, we do a lot of, we have a lot of areas of research aimed at the more efficient generation and uh, storage of energy. In many ways, much of that research involves a coupling of the old and the new, uh, applying new technologies uh, such as uh, nanotechnology, semiconductor physics, to older devices like generators and uh, energy storage devices in order to make them more efficient um, and more effective. One area of research that I'm involved in directly um, has to do with a device called an ultracapacitor. Most people know about capacitors. They were one of the earliest forms of uh, storing electrical energy. But capacitors don't store very much electrical energy. You never hear of putting a capacitor in your flashlight, for example. What you put in your flashlight is a battery, because a battery uses chemical storage to store a lot more energy than a capacitor can store. However, there's an interesting device called an ultracapacitor, which is somewhere between a battery and a capacitor. An ultracapacitor starts out with some aluminum plates and a separator, like you would find in, a capa in an ordinary capacitor, but it has a coating of activated carbon over that aluminum plate, and it has what's called an, an electrolyte, which is a liquid containing ions. Actually, the sulfuric acid in the car battery is a type of electrolyte. There's an electrolyte containing ions inside the ultracapacitor. When you apply a voltage to the plates of the capacitor, the electrical potential draws the ions into the cavities in the act activated carbon is a very porous material, incredibly porous, tens of thousands of times more internal surface area than the external surface area. And so a very large number of ions can be absorbed into the plates of the capacitor Rather, what happens in a rather similar to what happens in a battery, where ions are stored chemically in the in the plates of a battery. In the case of the ultracapacitor, though, they're not stored chemically; they're simply they simply adhere electrostatically. 